Hi, Barry Lester here. The life of a full-time lawn bowler is quite strenuous, both physically and mentally. I'm going to catch up with Chloe Stewart to see what it takes in her day-to-day -day life as a professional bowler to meet the challenges at the top. So Chloe, how old were you when you first started playing bowls? I began playing bowls when I was nine years old. Um, I started off just going to the local bowls club, which was Kyneton Bowls Club in country Victoria. Um, I used to go and watch my nan play. Um, and I really thought, wow, this looks like an easy game. I can play this. Uh, so yeah, I just started playing uh, with my nan and yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, there was an older guy who was, you know, the club champion there, Clive Phelps. Um, and he used to sort of help me a lot um, with my training and stuff. You know, I didn't really know what I was doing, so he was able to give me a little bit of advice. Um, and he always said to me, you know, I really think if you keep going, you know, you might even one day play for Australia. Um, so yeah, I kept going, uh, made the Victorian State Junior squad. Um, and then after that, I really thought that, you know, this could be something that I could continue to do. Um, and then, yeah, progressed forward, um, ended up, yeah, playing at the World Junior Championships when I was 18 and yeah, ever since then it sort of just kept going and yeah, I must say like it's an unreal feeling. Um, I still feel like I've got so much more uh, to do in the sport, um, but yeah, it's thoroughly enjoyable at the moment. I'm loving it. Talk us through a standard week for you at the moment. Um, yeah, so a standard week for me, um, working a couple of days a week at Tweed Heads Bowls Club. Um, and then also fitting in all my training, so on green and off green training. Um, when I'm on green, I'm doing a lot of drills um, that we send in to Bowls Australia um, as part of our high performance program. Um, and then also probably three to six activities um, off the green, which include walking, yoga, bike riding, um, and also like a few strength and conditioning workouts. Um, so that's pretty much a standard week for me um, and then also fitting in a bit of time uh, for family and friends and catching up with people for dinners and stuff like that. So it's a busy week and how much time do you have to spend away from your friends and family chasing your goals? Um, yeah, a considerable amount of time away from family and friends. Um, you know, I moved up to the Gold Coast four years ago um, so that was a big sacrifice, um, you know, to move away from home and to sort of find things by myself and yeah to sort of start a new life in a whole new city and um, yeah and like even just along the way like the little things you know missing birthdays and you know missing family gatherings and friends gather gatherings um, yeah it's just it's little things but you know at the end of the day when you know you do get that gold medal or you really reach that goal that you've been you know striving to achieve um, it really makes it all worth it in the end. What does it feel like to be in Australian Jackaroo and, and be out there travelling the world? Um, yeah, I must say, like, it's been an amazing journey so far. Um, and, you know, I feel like I'm only just getting started. Um, but, yeah, I've had some amazing experiences. I've been able to travel over to Hong Kong, the UK, uh, New Zealand. Um, you know, and without bowls, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that. So. Um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it um, and I just hope that yeah, I can continue on and get better as a player and as, and as a person um, and continue to keep stepping up that ladder. And what is the difference between uh, reaching the top? What does it take to reach the top as a Jackaroo versus maybe being a, a, a really good club bowler? Well, I think there's a lot of different things that go into it. Obviously, training's a big thing. Um, you know, you need to be practicing, you need to be on the green, but not just that, off the green as well. There's so many different aspects um, to, you know, being a jackaroo and being, you know, an international player um, that most club bowlers just probably don't make that sacrifice to do it. Um, but, you know, I've got the passion and like all the other jackaroos, that's what we love doing. Um, so, yeah, it's just being able to go out and, you know, keep performing at that high level. Um, and just enjoy what you do. There you have it, Chloe Stewart, Strange Jackaroo, absolutely flying at the moment. Well done and we wish you all the best. Thank you.